Hi, is this Marley Shelton and Michael Grazaday? Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Very Great. well, thank you. How are you doing? I am having a fabulous life, and I hope the same for you guys. I want to tell my audience that I have the opportunity today to speak to Marley Shelton and Michael Grazaday. They've got a great new Lifetime uh, series coming for you. Welcome, guys. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Well, I want to talk about the lottery. And if you don't mind, I'll start with Marley. Women are always first in my world. Absolutely. <laughs> always in my world, too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for agreeing, Michael. Marley, tell us about the Lifetime series lottery. I'm so excited, but I want you to tell me. Oh, I'm so glad you're excited. I'm excited, too. Uh, well, the lottery is set 10 years in the future. It's a dystopian thriller, which means it's the world is in a state of crisis because we are unable to have children. The last kids born, the youngest kids on the planet are six years old. So for six years, no one's had a child. And my character, Dr. Allison Lennon, miraculously manages to fertilize 100 human embryos. So this is a huge breakthrough and could solve this fertility crisis for the planet. But I'm immediately kicked off my own project, and it's taken over by the government. And from there, all sorts of crazy agendas and secret plots ensue while people try to get control of these embryos. And I try to get my job back. And Michael over here plays the father of one of these six-year-old children. So he is the man of the hour. Everyone wants a piece of him and his son uh, because I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> because, um, because the, these young, these six-year-olds are so valuable to the human race. They're the youngest children on the planet. Well, let me switch to Michael. Okay, Michael, t give me just a little piece of your role, and because uh, I want to go back to Marley after this. Okay. Um, my role in the lottery, I play Kyle Walker, uh, who is a recovered alcoholic, and I have one of the youngest and last children born in the world. So clearly, you know, the government kind of takes an interest in my life and my child's life and his welfare and you know it puts my character at odds with a lot of people and i'm under a lot of scrutiny do you think this could really happen michael do i think it could really happen i, I think that that is one of the points that kind of makes us relatable to uh, a broad audience um it's absolutely something that that I feel it could happen, you know, down down the road. We've already got a lot of the Big Brother stuff going on, you know, and, and since it is a government uh, conspiracy thriller or whatnot, we, we feel technology watching us every day. And then as far as people not being able to have children, like we don't, we don't know what agents are in, are in our environment or, you know, what, what we're, bodies are taking in on a, on a constant daily basis. That's so, very yeah, true. It's scary. It's a scary thing. That's what makes it interesting as well, you know? Okay. I, that's true. Marla, let me ask you, is this the first series of this kind on Lifetime? It is. It is. We are so excited to be part of this this new Lifetime brand. Um, we're, we're like Project Zero, 1.1. <laughs> I don't know however you say that. But no, it's it's a new, a new direction that that Lifetime is going in, and uh, we're hoping to reach a broader audience and just really kind of probe some very interesting subject matters. Um, this show, it's, it's almost impossible to, to talk about this show and, and get it down to one concise sentence because there's so much in it and to it. It's, it's got it all. It's, it's, it's really entertaining on, you know, on top of probing all these amazing you know, head spinning subject matters like the future of the world and fertility and rights to your own body and you know, it, but on top of it, it's it's you know, there's intrigue, there's a ticking clock, there's suspense, there's romance, and then uh, there's you, you. Have, <laughs> there's you, and Michael. Hey, what can what more? more? <laughs> no, um, yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited for it, and um, I hope I hope the audiences come along for the ride. When are, you, when are we going to watch you? Tell me, when do we start watching? This Sunday, July 20th at 10 p.m. on Lifetime. Okay, guys, we're there. You've got us, you've got us hooked. Thank you've you. got all of my yeah. audience hooked. So we're there to support you. So please. Thank you for hey, being there. Just we'll wait for us that. to tune in. Thanks so oh, very great. much. Thank you, Marley Shelton and Michael Grosso today. I really appreciate being, you being on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thanks for having us.